It's interesting when people say, I was never good at drawing, so I didn't draw. I don't think I necessarily knew that I was good or not. It's something I had to do. I remember growing up, there wasn't a lot of content with black little girls. So when I was really young, I would automatically draw blonde hair, blue eyes. You know, if you don't specify character, I guess that's what we're doing. And I was always challenged by a family member that's like, how come you only draw white characters? And the frustration of trying to explain to your family, like, I don't even know why you're asking me. You know the answer to this. I'm drawing what I see, and people don't want anything other than white people, because if they did, they'd be on TV. It was hard, incredibly hard, to like break past that. Of all things that I thought Pixar would be interested in, I didn't think it would be my little black girl comics, but I was able to tap into a truthful story and help people see my point of view, and I think that's what Pixar is really passionate about, is telling stories from an authentic place a good year or so into working on my first film, Toy Story 4. My focus was only about how do I do this job of storyboarding well. One day, I got an email saying like, hey, we just want you to know that your name got brought up for directing a Spark short. It was kind of crazy when they announced this on that day. I was still really insecure about being chosen. I knew with fear of it happening too soon, I was a little uncertain of how I was gonna lead a team. For me, I guess, as a 20-something, um, the feeling of, like, I'm not doing it right at all is so prevalent sometimes. When you're 26 and you feel like an adult, and sometimes you feel like two kids stacked in a trench coat. Figuring out my own voice as a director became really important in this crazy spark process. Should we? <laughs> The sticker? The director posted? Yeah, if you want to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do it. Do you mind if I have my moment? Because I got a moment. Yeah, yeah. enjoyable moment. It is. I like this, this one. one. Overall, I'm super pleased with the entire film and extremely proud of it. I just wanted to tell a story that I felt like I was going through and I know everyone else goes through. This felt like a story that touched a lot of people and then the specificity of it being told through a black character, I think makes it special. There's a huge want for representation, and just to be able to watch this and see yourself means a whole lot to a lot of people. And so I'm really excited for people to feel seen and know that this one is like specifically for them. I think kind of like the short, I think I just learning more and more to trust myself that I am doing things right <laughs> or close enough and that I'm gonna keep growing and learning and that's not a bad thing, it's all part of the process.